Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another interesting video here. This is a 2013 uh, 328 uh, with an N26 engine. I'm going to do another uh, probably video here. We got a link condition that I might want to share with you guys. Um, I will be doing the test on that, but right now what I'm doing is actually doing a test on the door locks for this vehicle. Uh, customer concern is the driver, sorry, not the driver, the passenger door front is not unlocking or locking. So I went ahead and uh, on Insta, you got everything. You can get wire diagrams and all the uh, connector locations and everything. And uh, it's pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. Sometimes when you cannot find it or it's not a fault code for that, for that, sorry, you can just do a text search and that will give you all the documents that can have, you know, wire diagrams or, or so. Um, so right now, this is the passenger door lock. As you can see, it shows two motors, so it depends. Like if I click in here, you see it says secure front, central locking drive. So that will be if the car has a dual locking system and that will be for like an extra secure so nobody can just come in and grab the button and open or push the button and open. So it actually needs the two motors to be uh, applied for the door lock to open. So this is a very simple, it's just a one motor for, again, for the door locks. Let me click into something else because that doesn't go away. So this signal is the unlock. So that will be pin 28. And then on pin uh, uh, pin 28 is a blue ca uh, blue cable. And then pin 31 uh, will take you is the lock uh, signal. And that's a connector uh, ACE 1734B on the on the FEM from electronics module. And that is on the driver's side, sorry, passenger side put well. And then the connector is as it shows in here. This is actually showing it sideways, but this is actually like this. So the connector will be the inner one. You need to remove this cover. It has a T20 that has to be removed. And then you can slide this connector in here without unplugging it and then just work in there. So let me take you over to where I'm doing the test. Trying to cover the license plate so I don't show that for the customer. All right, so again, I'm in that connector. Is a wide connector right at the end. I remove again the plastic cover that I mentioned it, and then the connector that I said there has to be a slide out. It's just that white connector in there. You go from the back and you push the little tab. Make sure the camera is picking that up. I'm going to point with a screwdriver. So dry that tab. Uh, is the carpet is not helping me in there, but. Uh, so it has a, a little tab that you can push down and then you can slide the connector out from the location on the plastic uh, cover, which right here. Okay, but all right, so I'm in the blue cable. I will be putting uh, electrical tape to cover that and no matter what is inside the vehicle. So we're not really that concerned on moisture, but always put electrical tape in there or nail polish. Uh, either way you want to do it. So while we're looking for... Uh, Right now, if I find the key of the vehicle I had before, uh, it's now not here, so give me one second. All right, I found the key. All right, so the way I set up the oscilloscope is in the two wires because one is ground and the other one is power on one way when you're doing a lock. And then when it's on uh, lock, it's going to be the opposite way. So we will see one going down and then another one going up for settings i got it on 50 balls so i can see more of the up and down uh, i can go to 22 but i think 50 is good enough because we're not really looking for um or concerning too much on the look it's just to make sure we got the activation and then i put like five seconds per division all right so i'm going to press the remote that's lock and unlock so both signals are there but as you can see Nothing is happening in here, and all the rest is working good. So this is telling me right now that the FEM is 90% good. Why do I say 90% good? Because this is not just voltage, right? We need to have amperage. If the FEM is not providing enough amperage, I will not move the motor. So I got the hook ready to go, and I'm going to now unplug. For this, I'm going to turn the ignition off. We don't need that on. I'm going to remove the leads. This is not a, a heavy load, so I've seen this even when they go bad to like 5 amps. So 
these cables from the oscilloscope, you don't want to put no more than seven, eight amps because otherwise you will burn the cable. So you can use that for very minimum uh, testing like this. Just getting the connector out. All right, so now the, we're not going to provide power because the reason I am plugging this right now is because I'm not sure if the fan is providing like in a, in a passive mode, one of those can be always ground. So when you turn the unlock, the cable will stay there. And then if you provide power to the one is already ground, even though you're coming to the motor actuator or door lock actuator uh, for the, yeah, for the door lock, uh, you might be burning the driver inside the fan. So just be careful with that. Make sure that you do it unplug. All right, so all I'm going to do now is taking my leads. I got one for the ground and another one for the power on the hook. So let me pause the video and do the connections and I'll be right back. All right, so everything is now connected. I got one lead going to the front of the hook and then the other lead to the ground, which is on the hook on, on the green wire. For this, you can use any power probe or the pulser, anything you have handy. It's just providing power or, you know, this is, I like to use this because it's kind of like secure. It has a circuit board protection. So it's not a problem for me to do this. So I'm going to apply power. It's not even moving. I don't hear any click. So now I have to reverse these cables. So I have to, oh, yeah, I can actually do it this way. So let me just move this one here. And I can do that with one hand, so I have to pause the video again. And then the other one in the front, right? That will be changing the polarity. So if we apply power, then nothing is happening. And I have, you know, select um, 25 amp just in case. Uh, I mean, it's not really necessary. It's, it's definitely an open circuit. Usually when you connect something to... Um, a motor it has to you know provide like a a, a, a closed circuit so you will hear uh, see resistance and it's not the case in here so it's either we have an open on the wire or a bed motor on the door so now for this i'm going to have to remove the panel and then what i'm going to do with the customers recommend to get the motor in here like that if i open the uh, door and the harness is good i can just swap the door lock and good to go but this is the test you want to do at least before you open the door you want to make sure because these fans on these BMWs are well known for failure BDC is fam I mean just foot well modules just name it they're like always failing so I that's what I took this way and I wanted to share this with you about the testing um, again don't forget to subscribe see you next time bye bye